Welcome everyone to NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. Alongside Grant Hill and Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, our reporter, I'm Brian Anderson. It's the Sacramento Kings taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. And here's Brian outside. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Everything Fox does is so fast. It makes him very difficult to guard without fouls. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Here's Bryant inside. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Can't lose sight of Fox or allow him to feel comfortable looking to score this close. Here's O'Neal. And he jams it home with authority. <laughs> and B.A., he takes his rebounding so seriously. This dude is such a grinder. His teammates appreciate the effort. Just goes all out on the glass. You know, this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second chance opportunities. Here's Van Exel after the Kings picked up a basket a moment ago. Bryant with it. He's picked up by Barnes. Here's O'Neal. Sub bonus with some nice D. Almost two minutes into the first here. Fox with the ball. And a nice finish on the layup. Fox has got six. When you're trying to stop a guy like this, you have to match his intensity level. Kings That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Here in the first quarter, with about two minutes gone by. Pass to O'Neal. And here's Bryant. Clock at six. Length. Height. Sabonis has it all on defense. His coverage can be just suffocating. Takes one from 10 feet. And again, it's Sacramento converting. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. Bryant outside. Rebound by the Kings. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. Here's Fox. No good there. And Los Angeles the other way now. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. by Davis. Here's Barnes. Oh, and a vicious dunk by Barnes. Pure hustle from Barnes in transition there. The way he runs the floor is a thing of beauty. Stolen by Davis. Shooting. 
Here's Monk. Using his post moves to get the two points. 127 left in the first quarter here. Looking to end the drought. And the layup is good. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. Outside Monk. And he goes in for the dunk. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. Pass to Fisher. Here's Campbell. Shot clock at six. Over Holmes. It's deflected. Outside Monk. Up top, Barnes. Pass to Holmes. Barnes in the post. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Here's Ori, defended by Holmes. Here's Fisher. The three-pointer off the mark. And so it's the Sacramento Kings finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. Defense is setting the tone. The Kings, 14. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Sacramento. Tonight, early on, this team is saying, forget the analytics. Let's take mid-range shots. They can be easy points. And following off of what you said, they've really done a good job distributing the ball, passing up good shots for great ones. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Well, De'Aaron Fox is a competitor. He said, I want to win. I know there's more than I can do. Just trying to create a spark, some type of energy. You can talk about what you did in high school and college, but you have to take it to a totally different level if you want to be one of those guys in the league. Brian? Allie, thank you. Pass to Herder. From deep. A rebound by Ori. And so it's the Lakers with it. It's a 10-point game. It's Bryant with a drive. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. First team foul. He misses the free throw. At the line for Los Angeles, Kobe Bryant. At the line. And he sinks the second. And it's a Kings ball. Fox, right side. Pass to Lyles. Outside Herder. Six on the shot clock. Not going to go that time. Oh, some solid defense from Fox. Bryant outside. Now here's Fox. To the inside. Here's O'Neal. Yes! And a nice assist from Fox. I mean, that's a good job working the ball inside and getting a quality shot. Here's Fox. Rebound, the Lakers. Huge challenge at the rim. The defender could not have played that any better. Here's Bryant. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Lakers. That free throw no good. Two shots. And he's good on the second. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. And De'Aaron Fox picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. 
Now Los Angeles with it. They've only given up two points this quarter. And here's Bryant outside. And no good. And the Kings going the other way now. Sabonis, right side. Outside Herder. The three. He drops it from range. That's Kevin Herter's bread and butter, where he shot 42% from beyond the arc his sophomore year in college. Here's Bryant. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. Murray shot is good. You're roughing Murray up a little in there, but he's built to take punishment and can still deliver. Bryant in the high post. Good on the 13-footer. Bryant's gotten four this quarter. Some defenses are designed to yield the mid-range shot. For him, that's a good look. Now a timeout by Sacramento. So both teams making some changes here. Quarter number two in around three minutes gone by. Here's Mitchell to the paint. And it's out of bounds to Sacramento. Sacramento ball. And the Lakers trail. And here's Bryant outside. Barnes with the rebound. And it's Sacramento's ball. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Outside for Mitchell. From downtown. Nails it from beyond the arc. Mitchell's gotten himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And here's Bryant outside. And they get it back. Pass to Fox. Here's Bryant inside. Shoots over Monk. Bryant, no good. But Grant, it's obvious who's been in control of this game. You know, you really have to appreciate their relentlessness. Back to Monk. Intercepted! Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. Six seconds left in the first half of this one. Pass to Jones. Here's Van Exel. Glenn pulls it in. Outside Barnes. Let's go with a three. And the Kings with another three. Well, you know, it's already tough to play like this at home, but it's even tougher to do so on the road. They built up this huge league with great play at both ends. They're going to love watching film tomorrow. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Outside Monk. From outside the arc. And so it's Sacramento in command with a 13-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're getting quality looks, and that's why they're shooting at such a high clip. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Fox outside. There's a screen. From the arc. Rebound by the Lakers. Bryant outside. Down low. No 
O'Neal. Nice pass. Nice catch. And a resounding dunk. Hey, kept it simple. No reason to get fancy right now, B.A. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. Herter can't hit. On offense, here are the Lakers. They trail by 11. Bryant, no good. Now Murray. Pass to Fox. Now Sabonis. Covered by Bryant. His first shot coming late. Shots good by Sabonis. Yeah, the touch of Sabonis around the rim. I mean, it's fantastic. And he brings this game a little closer using a huge one-hand slam. That's a great way to get your team back into it. Heady play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. No good on that one. And the Lakers making a change here. Good on the second one. Here's Van Exel. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Ooh, stolen by Murray. And the physical style Murray plays with will serve him well in this league. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, guys, with the yearly roster moves, it might be hard for the casual fan to keep track. But Commissioner Silver said it's a necessary side effect. He said, quote, we tried to tie performance to pay in a closer way, and I think that's what you see with shorter contracts. Brian, more player movement has been the result. Yeah, good point, Allie. Thanks. In the NBA, you just can't let guys get to the rim. Fox outside. Outside Herter. There's the three. He can't hit that time. So the Lakers will take it the other way. That's his first personal foul. Trying to make up ground here. And with plenty of time left, you want to play with urgency, but not desperation. And he throws it down with one hand. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It's very interesting. Kevin Herter projects to be a shooter, but he's so inconsistent from the free throw line. So the Kings making a change here. Pass to O'Neal. Bryant with it. Herter defending. To the right side. Holmes with it. Now Murray. Just five on the clock. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. That was the best he could do. Just fade a little bit, try and get a clean look, but the defense was right on him. A minute 50 left in the third. Now here's Bryant. Six points for him. That shot is good by O'Neal. O'Neal's got 12 points. His team hasn't picked up the slack, but he's doing everything he can do to win this game for them. There's some contact there, but Fox just refuses to let that hold him back. Pass to O'Neal. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. <laughs> B.A., that's lit. Ferocious all the way. Man, that was good. And the Kings call time here. Both teams deciding to change it up. And it's the Kings ball. Pass to Lyles. Fires from deep. O'Neal pulls it in. They could get back within single digits of the lead. 
And there's the foul. It'll go on Terrence Davis. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. And 101 left in the third. Here's O'Neal. Oh, he gets it to fall, and that makes it just a single-digit deficit. Yeah, he's leading the charge for them. But let's be honest, he needs more help if they're going to get out in front. The reason why is not just scoring. It's the way he's doing it. Efficient. That's what you need at this point in the game. That's to Ori. The shake. Here's O'Neal. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering it home like that. Outside Monk. Inside. And it's Lyles missing. Now Los Angeles with it. They're on a 13-4 run. Kings that's his first personal foul. He's off on the first. Team foul. At the line. That one's no good. To the middle. Here's Monk. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Come on, B.A. Emphatic slam from a player who does it better than most. Oh, defense optional when the freight train is coming. The D totally forgot to mark him, and as a result, he put them on a poster with that dunk. And we've reached the end of the third. Kings ahead, leading by nine. And when we return... With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. The Lakers trail. Looking to get it going. Bryant, no good. Oh, gritty defense. Protecting the rim at all costs against a guy who has all sorts of ways to finish. Back to Herder. Over to the left wing. No good. A bit long that time. So it's the Lakers now. Pass to O'Neal. Back to Bryant. To the paint. O'Neal misses. Fox left side. Left side herder. Back to Fox. The baseline J. No luck on that one. And Los Angeles the other way now. And here's Bryant outside. The Lakers with another miss. You kind of wonder where his head's at. The shot selection hasn't been there. And of course, that one was just crazy. The Kings leading. Down low. Barnes. Assisted. Nice look from Kevin. Intelligent and unselfish. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. a change here and let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. I had a chance to find out what the Lakers coach was going over with his guys. 
he let his guys know that he needs more from them to close this deficit. He said, quote, we have to get something started. I know we're behind, but you are capable of taking this game if you still want it. All right, appreciate it, Allie. And the Lakers call time here. Got plenty of time to get back into this. Yeah, I'm sure they feel pressed, but this is when you have to stay calm and execute. And Bryant gets it to go. Slow reaction from the D, and it cost them three. Fox double team. Outside Murray. Beyond the arc. The Lakers with a rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. That shot is good by O'Neal. O'Neal's got 14 points now in the second half. With a tough road ahead, they worked hard to get a good shot. To the inside. It's Herder on the wing. Back to Sabonis. Clock is at three. Here's Fox. And that basket makes him six for 11, shooting a good percentage. <laughs> Forget position. Sabonis is one of the best overall passers in the league. O'Neal inside. And that's a foul. Called on Kevin Herter. That's foul number two for him. And the Lakers making a change here. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. They grab their own miss. Count it. Good. O'Neal's got four points in the quarter. The defense getting out-hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Here's Van Exel. Over Murray. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Kings. Smart ball handling from them in this one. Passing around to get ahead of the defense and putting it in the hands of ready shooters. And I also have to praise them for their three-point shooting. They're showing a lot of confidence, letting them fly from deep. The Lakers trail. And here's Bryant outside. That shot, no good. Low percentage shot from long range. Terrible decision, especially when you still have a chance to win this. Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. Nifty move. And Exel with the rebound. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. And now just a two-point Kings lead. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. And I don't think he expected to get that good of a look. Poor communication defensively. Now a timeout by Sacramento. They lead by two. 114 left in the fourth quarter here.
14 left to play in the fourth. Right side, Barnes. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. With his size and explosiveness, you get the feeling Barnes can live at the line. It's all about creating contact. And he does get the second one. And that makes it a three-point lead. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. They're behind by three. A minute four left in the fourth quarter of this one. drop. Ooh, some solid defense from Herter. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the Lakers. Something I've noticed is how aggressive they've been on driving the basketball. Time and time again, they've turned cracks in the defense into points. Yeah, they've also worked at pounding the ball inside. It gave them high percentage looks all game, and it's paid off. Something's off about him this quarter. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. Forty-three seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. And here's Bryant outside. Here's O'Neal. Nice D from Sabonis. Get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And for a point like Fox, handling the ball late in games, I mean, you'll be in this situation a lot. Now Los Angeles with it. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth. And here's Bryant outside. And it's good. And he's brought them within two points now. He lives for moments like this because he wants to be the guy to hit the clutch shot. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. Here are the Lakers now. They're on a 14-5 run. Man, at what point do you blame the play calling more than the player? Here's Murray. Drives to the hoop. Off with the layup. Three on three to take the lead. And he drills! Triple. That's just great court recognition there. He saw the D pack in the lane on the break, so he calmly rolls up and drained the transition three. Here's Fox. Oh, that shot had a chance, but the all or nothing shot attempt is off the mark. So it's a narrow victory for the Lakers it out to the W. That was an incredible night of hoops. A tremendous finish.